How's it going, guys? Great. Thank you, Senator Lou. Thanks, Lauren, for helping organize this. Responding to my late emails, as always. We're very busy in Emeryville making the next brand of entertainment and <laughs> McDonald's Happy Meals. Uh, so they say art doesn't pay, right? Uh, well, maybe they're right, but this week Vanity Fair uh, published an article about the first graduating ca uh, class of CalArts. And this is them. These are the class of 76. Uh, in this photo, you'll see John Lasseter, Tim Burton, Pete Docter, Glenn Keane. But you might know them better by their directorial efforts. Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Nightmare Before Christmas, and every single Pixar movie. Uh, these guys came from all over the world uh, and all over the nation to study in California in the 1970s because that was the only place to do it. These are my heroes, and now because of my education in California, these are my coworkers. This is me. I am the <laughs> protagonist of this little story that I'm about to tell you. Uh, every protagonist, as you may know, needs a goal. In the film industry, we call this a MacGuffin. So Luke had his Death Star plans, uh, Bogart had his Maltese Falcon, and Harry Potter was on about something different every school year. But for me, my MacGuffin was uh, a job in the film industry. And the person that really helped me is in this room today, Sean Sullivan. He was my personal Sherpa uh, in, in the mountain road to the film industry. Uh, a lot of people are not as lucky as I was to have the kind of class I had. Uh, my class was the perfect bridge to success. We had animation programs, we had computers, uh, and that was because of funding. That was because of public school funding. Nowadays, if things keep going the way they are, kids will not have that bridge to success. Aww. Kids will be stranded, and that's not the kind of future that we want. Every uh, story also has a villain. Uh, the villain of my story was the dreaded tuition yeti. Uh, the tuition yeti likes to prowl the paths, the mountain paths on your way to success. Uh, now I was lucky. I went to school in 2002 when the tuition yeti was, had a small appetite. Uh, just $25,000 a year would, would suit the yeti just fine. But uh, today's students have to pay up to $50,000 just at CalArts. And uh, the only way to help that, the only way to solve that is through grants, through scholarships, through loans, through, through this help from from you guys, from the government. Now remember these guys, this is the class of 76 when they first attended CalArts. Like I said, they went to school at a time when California was the only place to get this kind of education. But nowadays there's schools all over the world. You have Goblon in France, you have Ringling in Florida, you have Sheridan in Canada. When I was going to school, CalArts was only teaching hand-drawn animation. While the rest of these schools had full computer labs that were teaching cutting edge technology, and these days and age, we can talk about art all we want, but it goes hand in hand with technology. And at CalArts, we began to get very competitive about this. We had a lot of pride. And you'd see how Goblon in particular, the French school, would just come out with the best films, you know, year after year. So we started, uh, started seeing posters all over all the cubicles at CalArts saying, buckle down, we've got to beat the French. And there was a lot of pride there. <laughs> And that's the sort of pride you're going to find in schools. And, and, and uh, you know, you can have all the spirit you want, but what you need is the means. You know, you need that bridge. And there's kids out there that just need that leg up. They just need that technology. And that's what the dollar can buy you. Uh, anybody who's seen the Lord of the Rings films asks the same question. Why don't they just use those giant eagles to fly the ring to Mordor? Well, people are going to be asking the same about students. You know, why doesn't our big, great eagle help fly these students straight to their goal? You know, we have the means. Why don't we just do it? So this is me at the end of my journey, and now I'm kind of becoming a Sherpa. Uh, I'm working with Sean Sullivan at Sheldon High School. I teach at the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. My students come from uh, the Middle East. They come from Korea. They come from all over the world. They still come to California. Um, even though there are programs online that are much cheaper where you can learn animation, there's something about the call to California that these people respond to. So this is where I think we should be. I think we should maintain this Sherpa-like attitude of helping escort these people on the path to success. Thank you. Thank you.